G'day everyone. Now I don't know about you, but I just reckon the weather in Brisbane at the moment is just perfect. It's not too hot. The sun's coming up a bit earlier, going down a bit later. The really strong westerly winds of Eka time have gone. It's just a great time to ride a bike. In fact, the other day I was talking to a mate and he was saying, there's basically three seasons in Brisbane. There's perfect weather for cycling season. There's a little bit too hot for cycling season. And there's magpie season. And guess what? It's magpie season now. Magpies are an icon of Australian wildlife, but at this time of year, while they're nesting, males get as protective as a dad whose daughter is being pursued by Russell Brand. To protect their kids, if they perceive you or your pet dog or something as a threat, they'll give you a clear warning, and if you proceed through their territory, then... At my signal, unleash hell. Now, research suggests only about 10% of male magpies swoop, and that it's a learned behavior. So if you've got a magpie in your neighborhood that swoops, they're gonna pretty much teach that same behavior to their, their children and their sons, and so they'll be the terrors of your neighborhood for generations. Now, most of the time magpies don't make contact, but sometimes they do, and sometimes they can cause injury. Usually that's a cut on the cheek or the, on the ear, but sometimes it can cause a serious eye injury. Some people hate them as a result, but for me, I think it's a bit irrational to hate magpies. Well, maybe these ones. Now I'm sure we've seen lots of viral videos of magpie attacks that have made us laugh. Sometimes it is pretty funny, but it unfortunately can have some really tragic consequences. And usually those tragedies happen not because of the bird attack itself, but because of the way people react to it. Sometimes people trip and fall. Uh, sometimes if you're riding a bike, people can swerve in front of a car and be hit or fall off their bike and, and injure themselves that way. Because the swoops are usually completely swat, silent and without warning, people can react it was a shock and that shock can lead you to trip and fall or if you're on a bike you can swerve and unfortunately potentially collide with a car. Now I don't know if you noticed in that video of my encounter with a magpie but just at the moment when it really got at my ear and I reacted a motorist was overtaking me and pretty close to I might add. Now if I had reacted badly and I'd swerved or I'd fallen that would have ended really badly. So if getting swooped by magpies worries you one thing you can do is to avoid riding during magpie season. But I don't know about you, but I'm not really keen on the idea of putting my bike away for eight or nine weeks of the year. So here's my guide for how to survive magpie season and keep riding your bike. The first option is to avoid magpies. That sounds impossible, Chris, but it's not. There's a very useful website called magpiealert.com. Now that's a place where people report their encounters with magpies and there's um, points on a map so you can actually see where they're swooping. And it breaks it down and actually show yellow magpies for they've just swooped, red if they've actually caused an injury. And so you can sort of see if there's a cluster of magpie attacks in the one spot, that's probably a fairly aggressive magpie. So you can use that map to plan your cycling routes and avoid those areas. And what you can also do in return is if while you're cycling, if you do get swooped by a magpie, make a note of where you are and put a report in there as well so you can alert other people to that situation. It's also a good idea to call your local council, whether it's Brisbane City Council or whatever your local council is. Uh, usually they take reports about swooping and aggressive magpies and they can put signage out to let people know in the community that there's a bird swooping in this area. So even if they're not checking magpie alert, there's some kind of way to warn people. I missed. <laughs> like most Australian cities, Brisbane doesn't always have a reasonable alternative route. So even if you've checked your route on magpie alert and you've found that there's a bunch of swoopy boys on that route, you may not have an alternative. So the next option is to prepare, knowing that you're going to get swooped uh, so how can you do it so that it's going to minimise your risk of getting injured? Lots of people have theories about this and people have tried lots of things. Uh, some people try putting cable ties in their helmets to make them look like a porcupine. Uh, I've seen pipe cleaners. Some people tried sticking a tree branch in their helmet. 
and some people tried painting eyes on the back of their helmet but um, as Amber showed, I'm not sure it works. Now, the reality is there's nothing you can actually do to prevent a magpie swooping you. They, if they identify you as a threat, they're gonna swoop you. But what you can do is minimize the risk of them actually getting close to you and causing injury. What I did to achieve that, I got a brim to attach to my helmet. So this is a, the brim brand option. I'll keep a link, I'll put a link in the description for you. So what this does, it just keeps the, yeah, there's a little bit more width away from your, your ears. So um, makes it a little bit harder for the magpies to get into your ears. They've got a little bit more room to cover. Uh, has the added bonus that it makes you look incredibly unattractive, so uh, that probably keeps them away as well. And as I mentioned, some of the, one of the other risks of magpies is to get to your eyes. So I always wear sunglasses or regular glasses just to give my eyes a little bit of protection. I kind of have to because without them I'm blind as a bat and I can't see the camera right in front of me without it. But, you know, it's a good idea if you're not blind. Uh, invest in some decent sunglasses that, that can protect your eyes. So Paul Haymans is from the Brisbane Valley Rail Trail User Association and he swears by bird scare tape. Now I'll put a link for that in the description but basically it's strips of holographic tape that you attach to your helmet and it flies out the back and it, it also helps keep the magpies away from you. Now Paul says that you need to get the wider tape not the thinner one, you can get a thinner one from Bunnings, but there's a wider tape you can get online. And like I said, I'll put the link in the description so you can get that. Um, and I'll give a, give a link through to Paul's, um, he's got a Facebook post about his, his tips for avoiding magpies. Because magpies, they swoop pretty aggressively on the Brisbane Valley Rail Trail. So um, if anything's going to work there, it'll work anywhere. But as Paul's video shows, it doesn't stop them swooping you, but it does stop them from making contact. And it's that contact that causes the shock, that then causes the bad reaction, that then puts your life in danger. <laughs> you've tried to avoid them. You've plotted your route, you've avoided the magpie areas, you've got your brim, you've got your sunglasses, and you get swooped. What do you do then? Well, the next tip is that you need to be calm and be prepared. Just like you need to be prepared for another road user making a mistake, you need to be prepared for the possibility that a magpie is going to swoop you. But as with all situations, the trick when you're being swooped by a magpie is to be calm. Don't slam on the brakes, don't swerve. Try and take a breath, focus on keeping your line, but evaluate the situation. If it's safe to stop, slow down carefully and pull over. Or in my case, generally what I'll do is I'll just keep my line, keep pedaling and get through. Magpies will generally swoop for 100, 200, 300 meters, then that's it, and they'll go back to their territory. So often the best approach is just to stay calm and just keep on going. Some say that getting off your bike and walking is the way to go. Uh, in my experience, sometimes it's actually the helmet that's upsetting them. So while you're off your bike and walking, they're gonna be swooping you, and it's gonna take you longer to get out of their territory. You could try taking off your helmet if you wanna take that risk. But if you don't know that the magpie is going to stop swooping without your helmet, probably not a good idea. So generally, that's why I prefer to just keep on going, but just try and stay calm, maintain your line, and just get through carefully. Oh, and last thing, if you're driving and you see someone getting swooped by a magpie or a butcher bird because they swoop too, don't overtake. Just hold back because you don't know if that cyclist is going to freak out and swerve in front of you. You don't want to hit them. So if you see someone getting swooped, please hold back, don't overtake. It might just save a life. Magpie season is just a fact of life of riding a bicycle in Australia. It's only a few weeks a year and it's just a parent protecting their child. Who can really be upset about that, hey? Use Magpie Alert to understand where magpies are swooping in your area and avoid riding in that area. Use Magpie Alert as well to report where you've been swooped to let other people know and call your local council so they can put up warning signs if there's a particularly aggressive bird. Consider investing in a brim for your helmet and sunglasses. That just helps keep them away from your ears, neck and eyes. I've heard bird scare tape works, I haven't tried it myself, but some people swear by it, so you can consider that as an option as well. 
So this can help prevent magpies getting close to your face and causing injury, but most importantly, it can pre prevent you getting that sudden fright that can cause you to react badly and crash. <laughs> and above all, when you get swooped, and you probably will get swooped, stay calm and hold your line. Take a moment to assess whether it's safer to stop or keep going. And if you keep going, generally the magpies will only swoop for another couple hundred metres until you're out of their territory. The biggest danger you face is how you react to the shock. And if you're driving and you see a cyclist being swooped by a magpie or some other kind of bird, don't overtake. Just hold back. They might swerve out in front of you and you don't want that. I hope you enjoyed that little look at one of Australia's most iconic birds. And hopefully there's a few tips in here that'll help you get through magpie season and not have to give up riding your bike. What about you? Do you have any tips to survive magpie season? Let me know in the comments. Well, ride safely, drive rarely, and I'll see you out there dancing with magpies soon. <laughs>